Okay, so in this next video, we're going to look at how we can create this uh, drop-in letters. In our last video, uh, we look at how to create the drop-in text. So uh, the same principles apply. So let's get started. Uh, here in the project bin, right click and uh, add a title clip. So we just type in what we want to have there. So that's our text. Let's align this nicely there. Uh, we increase the font here to make it more clear for us to see this uh, tutorial. Now here, that is the um, sample text here. So let's create that. So we have that. Now we're going to create uh, its uh, clip for each of this letter. So let's right click and uh, add a title clip. So just put in T there and place this uh, somewhere underneath here. Create title. Let's create another one. Uh, let's just put the uh, E here and then drag this uh, down somewhere here and then create that and then another one again. And then this will be our X and then place this one down here and then create another one again. And let's do for the last one. So let's do for the last one, which is T and then let's just uh, drop it down here and then create the text. Now let's bring in our first text there. So now our sample text is right in video track one. So we need another three more tracks. So here you can see do a right click and insert track. In the insert track here, uh, there are already one track. So we need to increase to three track and then click uh, OK. So we are creating three tracks here. So let's just minimize this to make it more neat and nice a uh, little there. So we have this one. Let's bring in each of this uh, clip and place it on top of each side. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to align the text in line with our main uh, sample text there. So let's double click on the T here and then just bring this one. Now here, if you want to uh, add the gradient, you can do that. So you can click, uh, if you have created some gradient, you can do that. If not, you can come in here and uh, create the gradient color here. You can change the color to something more like that. And then you can change this other color to... Uh, something more like that if you want to. So, okay, so once you're happy with that, let's uh, do that. So let's place this uh, next in line. Let's make sure to align it nicely with the other uh, sample text here. And then update this and do that for the next one. And then update it. Let's go to the next text. Update that and the last text. Okay, so let's align that, change to gradient and update that. So here's the text. Now let's delete the simple text there. It doesn't need to be there. So this is the text that we have. So let's zoom in. Something like that. And then once we zoom in, the next thing is to add the uh, markers here. So let's move in 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then do a right click and then you add the guide there. You can put this one as guide one and then change the color to something like that. That's the first guide, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's add another guide again. Change the color there. And then this one will be guide two. And then uh, let's uh, move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's uh, right click. So we're going to add the guide until we have how many? So we have one, two, and three. So we should have uh, another two more. So let's just change the color to this one. And then the last one one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. Right click and then add the guide and then change the color to something like that. And then this one will be four. Okay, I actually did not add a number here, so I can uh, double click on it to add the number. This will be number three. And uh, there we go. We have this guide. The guide are there to help us to trim the clip down. Let's trim this one down here. Let's trim another one like that. And let's trim this other one like this. So here is the what we'll have now. Okay. The next thing is to uh, animate this text. So let's animate it to zoom in. So in order to do that, let's go to the effects panel and then go to transform distort and perspective and go down and you see the transform. Apply a transform to each of this clip. So let's do that now. Once we have that, now let's animate it. So just bring your playhead and place it next to the playhead. Once you bring it in, it's going to snap into the guide here. So just snap it into the guide. And then you can come to the effects panel here. Um, if you're wondering how I get my uh, effects panel here, it's all just like you can just um, 
click here on the stake and you can move it around to any position that you want to. So I like to place it here for now. So just place this one here. Okay. So now we have that. Now let's um, change the value of the size here to uh, 500. And you can see we just remove one of the text there and then add a keyframe and make sure to change this while we are still here. Select that and change the keyframe interpolation to linear and then uh, change back to 100, which is the original value. And then let's move the playhead to the next and snap it into the next guide there and select the clip. And then I'll change the value to 500 for this size. And you can see it comes here. It's going to be something like that. And then you can use the X value here and then move to hide the text uh, right hiding it somewhere there. And then add a keyframe, change the keyframe interpolation to linear. And then simply change the value of uh, size to 100 and the X value to zero. That was the original value there. Let's move on to the next one. Snap it into the guide and then select the clip itself and then change the value. So we want this one to come on this side here. So let's change that to 500. And you can see the clip is being enlarged on, on this side. And use the X value and move to your right hand side to hide the text there. And then add a keyframe. Change the keyframe interpolation to linear. And then change the value back to 100 and change the value of x to 0. Let's snap the uh, playhead to the last guide there and then select the clip and change the value to 500 and then add a keyframe, change the keyframe uh, interpolation to linear and then uh, let's just change it back to 100. And this is how our text is going to look at now. Okay, so once we have that, we want to make it a little more blurry once it comes in. And then it's kind of like speeding up and it comes to the top. So to do that, uh, we need to add the uh, blur effect. So let's minimize this. And then in here, we can see that blur and soften. So you have uh, different blur effect here. But the one that it have the keyframe, you can keyframe it, is the box blur and the square blur. So we're going to use the box blur today. So let's click this and apply to our first clip there. And now let's uh, place the playhead again, close or snap it into this guide number one here. And then from here, let's just bring the horizontal multiplicator here something like that so you can see it's kind of like spitting in and if you want to you can just bring the vertical a little bit like that and then add a keyframe and change the value back again to zero all of this one okay so once we have this and try to play that and check it out okay so it's kind of like having this blur effect you can see there it's blurry in and then it comes to stop. It's kind of like the text is um, solid again. So with that, uh, you can also go to the next step to do that. But here's a simple way. You just have to create the effects here. So we have already the blur there. We can just create because all everything is the same here. So we just click the save button here. And then let's just type in blur 2 and uh, click OK. So all you have to do, uh, if you come up to the uh, custom uh, template or the presets here, you click in here, you can see all the um, custom presets that you created will appear here. And if you want to create it as a template so that you can send it to someone, you do a right click and export XML and you send that XML. And uh, we have a video here, you can see how to, you can place it in there so you can be able to use as a template so these are different templates that are here okay so um let's go back again this is a blur tool so let's apply this to all of this clip here so simply just apply that and now here's the final result Okay, so there you go. You can use this uh, same principle to do a long text. Uh, here we just have these four letters, but you can do it for many letters, like more than four and up. So you can do the same principle. 
Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you've not subscribed, you can do that. Uh, we appreciate your subscription and uh, support us by sharing our video as well. And um, yeah, you can share it on your social media too. So um, thank you very much. I'll see you back again in another video.